fishing for the queen snapper. We were fishing in about 900 feet of water and um, obviously using a electric reel because it was really, really deep. All right, guys, we're here in Isla Mirada, Florida today searching for big queen snapper. We found ours today. We're fishing with Captain Dave Jones, also known as Monster Fishing on Instagram. So make sure you give him a follow. This is the first one of the day, so we're going to drop the line and catch some more. for queen snapper it's pretty deep here so we're using an electric reel to make the job a lot easier another queen snapper coming up There's your fish. Wow. Woo, good job, Louisa. Check this out. Good fish. Gorgeous looking fish. That's two what in do you a row. Mean, That's two in a row. <laughs> Look two at that. drops. Two big queen snappers. This one's been on ice for about 10 minutes. Got the next one down and already hooked him up. Good job, girl. <laughs> <laughs> These are fun to catch for sure. Delicious. Queen snapper do taste amazing, and that's one of the main reasons that we target them. We're actually allowed 10 per person, but we only keep between one and two a piece typically because we don't want to overfish these fish. We want to be able to go out there every time we target the fish and catch them. And another one of the cool things about this trip is that we got to have one of our buddies, Sonny, catch a couple fish, which was really cool. So Sonny pulled in a few queen snapper and got to catch his first one, and he caught a beast of a queen snapper for his first queen snapper so he might be a little spoiled on those guys now but it was a lot of fun and of course they tasted excellent at the end of the day when we cooked them up. It always amazes me to see the colors on the queen snapper. They just look like gigantic goldfish and we were fishing 900 feet of water, complete darkness and these fish are bright bright red and they are amazing to eat. Super tender white meat. Oh, look yeah. at that. That's a big one too, man. Look at that. Woo! God, that's a slob. The limit is 10 queen snappers per person, but we definitely don't want to do that. Uh, we actually capped one or two per person, and we want to make sure we come back some other day and they're still there. So it's very important for us to only keep what we need. I'm out here with Kathy. Jimmy Nelson fishing with Louisa and the good man Munster fishing, catching sea monsters. Look at this. Queen snapper are a very special fish because not a lot of people have caught them and they're not super common to where everybody can just go out there and catch them whenever they want and you normally can't hire just any guy to take you out and catch queen snapper. It takes a special guy, someone who really knows what they're doing and who are dialed into the queen snapper because they're not easy to locate and not a lot of people know a lot of things about them because they're such a deep water fish. Alright, well, it's not the biggest one of the day, but it's still a big one. Oh, Sonny got me, got a bigger one than this earlier. Yes, sir, he did. But wow, look at the colors on these fish, man. It just don't get any prettier than that. Just brilliant reds and stuff. Just the colors on these things are outstanding. It's even better than that is the way they taste. Ooh, what a pretty fish. All right, guys, time to go hit the reef and catch something different. <laughs> what a day, what a morning. To go on and go do something else and leave them alone and it'll be good next time we come back. If everyone does that, the fishery will always stay good. Otherwise, our, this fishery could get lost pretty quickly if people abuse it. All right, nice. Well, this is enjoying, that's for sure. We have plenty for dinner and I'm excited. Awesome, great day, man. Oh.